respond here, continuing the same point of view that was offered by Vygotsky, that our activities, they define our gender, cultural gender, not biological sex. We come to another concept, that is gender as personae. This is plural of persona, personae. You may be familiar with this term, with reference to movies, theaters, and plays. They give a list of actors who perform different roles, and uh, their roles are actually their masks, their uh, personae. Sometimes they are a wife, in some other play they are husband, in some other play the same person is a judge. So these are personae. So here, this point of view would be explained. Goodwin, who belongs to this school of thought, he says that when we perform different activities, so these activities relate us with different social groups and with different social cultures. Every social group has its own norms and conventions and ways of living. They have their culture. So our activities relate us with social groups and their cultures. We have to adopt. If we want to become a member of that social group, if we are involved with them, then naturally we have to adopt social personae a new identity, a new public face, a new public mask will have to be worn to live among them. We do this. Now how we do this? We do this through moving out of our sex-specific ways of talk. The first thing is, if we relate this, if this procedure with language, language helps us. How language helps us? First of all, Language tells us that discard your sex-specific, male-specific, or female-specific style of talk. Come out of that. Because when we relate our biological sex and our speech with each other, when we establish one-to-one -one link with them, so we cannot adopt a new persona. We have to do away with our previous persona. Our talk, that is also a social action, that is also is act, uh, some activity. We can call it speech activity. Not our sex. It defines our gender. This is the point of view that was offered by Goodwin. Men speak like women. Now, when you abandon your, when you discard your, when you leave your gender specific style of talking and speaking. So what would happen? Men speak like women and women start speaking like men. We often observe this around us. For example, in cricket commentaries, see, female commentators, they, uh, they comment on the play like men. And uh, in uh, marathons, in anchor persons, for example, in uh, TV talk shows, we see that female anchors, they talk and they act while talking. They make gestures and movements like men. Not only their language, rather paralanguage and uh, uh, extralinguistic gestures, they too become like men. And uh, similarly, actors, whether they are uh, male or female, they can opt each other's style of talk. In comic shows, we daily see this, right? In marathons, people play together, and uh, they, especially women, while taking part in these activities, when they become part of the racers, so they talk like male racers. So this is how both adopt each other's style of talk and they come out of their 
the Pacific star. In this way, our talk that in some we can say helps us to adopt a new persona, a new social domain and social uh, set of activities.